Gangnam Style Opa Gangnam Style What are I have for dinner tonight? Man, I'm just really hungry. Ah! Oh my gosh! What are these? They're clearly not from here. Ow! Ow! These little things bite! Huh. I've never seen this kind of species before. It must not be from around here. Let me get my... Hmm. Hang on. Let me get my... Yeah. Yeah. Um, that is the neon fighting worm of western Pennsylvania. But they're not from here. Oh, no. It could be. Not here. It's an invasive species. Dun, dun, dun! Well, needless to say, after that scare, I really wasn't quite as concerned about them anymore once I found out that they're edible. And quite delicious, nonetheless. But anyways, it got me thinking about invasive species and what a big problem it is here in America. So, I wanted to take a little bit of time to talk to you about invasive species and the importance of them and why they're causing such a problem here in the United States and other countries across the globe as well. Oh no, not again. Am I shrinking? Oh, I hate this so much. No. Oh. All right. It gets less painful each time, but it still kind of hurts. All right, so let's go in and talk a little bit about invasive species. First off, let me just give you a little bit of a definition. And a species, an invasive species is one that immigrates to a new ecosystem. It's in an ecosystem that's not normally able to hold that particular species. Well, the issue with that is that it has no natural predators. So if it has no natural predators, it's not going to get eaten. And as a result, it continues to grow. The population continues to grow and grow and grow without any other species being on near it. It's a big issue. Having these in your environment is a big issue because it disrupts the ecosystem. It disrupts that delicate balance that you once had within that ecosystem and can significantly affect food chains and food pyramids as well. One good example of this is the nutria, which is from South Africa. This thing eats just about anything you can find. It damages vegetation. It will eat crops and cause severe damage to riverbanks. Again, because it has no natural predators within our ecosystem. So it's a big deal, not only to ecosystems, but also to economics. It can severely damage crops and cause a lot of problems. Another example is the zebra mussel, which is from East Europe. Now, this arrived in the Great Lakes because the zebra mussels were actually attached to ships that were traveling through the Great Lakes. The problem with this is, again, there are no natural predators within the ecosystem of the Great Lakes in order to keep the zebra mussels in check. So this is a multi-billion dollar issue. In addition to that, it also harms other organisms within the ecosystem. It keeps the clams shut, as well as being on crayfish, causing a huge problem there as well. So there's definitely some big issues with zebra mussels in the United States. These things are also able to clog pipes. And again, it's a multi-billion dollar issue. It's not just an environmental issue, but an economic issue as well. The big problems with invasive species, again, is that there are no predators. So they may grow faster than native species and crowd them out or even outcompete them for resources. So the native species die out. This has a significant impact and alters ecosystems. So it's a pretty big deal. One female zebra mussel can actually produce over 1 million offspring. And without predators and with abundant resources, rapid population growth. So we start to see exponential growth. And you can see in the picture here of zebra mussels covering a pipe. So hopefully you understand a little bit about invasive species. And you're going to take a look at some invasive species of your own that I want you to take a look at and get a better understanding of, all right? So hopefully next time you see an invasive species, you'll know what to do and what impact it has on the environment, just like what I'm going to do with this invasive species. Thank you.